The Royal Caribbean Arcade. Is it worth it? We bought the $50 credit for $39. Here's the arcade. Prices for the games at the arcade vary from $1 to $3, depending on the type of games you play. Since our car was already loaded, all we had to do was swipe the CPass card and it just charges your account and that's it. If you play a game that earns ticket, the tickets automatically go to your card. Once you run out of credits on your card, it's just gonna start charging your CPass card. So each time you swipe, it'll be pay per game, one to two dollars, which can get very expensive after 20 minutes of just swiping. Overall, my kids really like the arcade. The price was okay, not too bad. We expect the pricing is just like your regular arcade that you go, but it's on the ship, which is cooler. Out of the 12 games, I think six machines were broken. If it's your first time on the cruise, I would just totally do it. They'll love it. The colors in here is very bright. Of course, they're going to want to come in and play. It's hard to say no to this when you're on vacation. So just enjoy, have fun. Just be sure to set up spending limits because the cost can add up really quickly if it's on your kid's card. This is their favorite claw machine because you win every time you swipe your card. There is a self-redemption price hub for your tickets. The arcade credits are also good for the games at the Playmakers. Every ship arcade will be a little different. This should give you a good idea of what to expect.